how do I monitor um, the information these days when it's coming from so many different sources. It's not just the traditional sources, it's people, you know, in the middle of uh, North Africa or uh, in the Middle East, things that come out on, on Twitter now. Um, and how do you know what are the reliable reports coming out on these new media platforms? A lot of people are getting their news from, from these social networks. Um, some of it is very uh, useful and, uh, and a lot of it happens there before it ever makes it to a newspaper, to a broadcast, or even to a web page. There's so much of it and it's coming out at such a rapid pace, you know, every second of the day, every moment there's uh, those reports. Uh, it's kind of a, a tough job because you have to be monitoring it 24-7 um, and you almost have to build another news department uh, around it. It's got to be several people who can take turns uh, around the clock, not unlike any other uh, journalism job, but it's, it's almost a, a new role where they're monitoring not just the wire reports or um, uh, the broadcasts over, over television happening in other countries, but now you have to have somebody that's monitoring uh, these social networks because that's where it's happening before it gets to anywhere else. So we're looking at you know, all these potential sources and figuring out what makes the most sense um, to package that and uh, bring it to all these editors and journalists um, and make their jobs easier to monitor all this information. Yeah, I think it's starting to happen already. Um, you're seeing people like Andy Carvin at NPR and David Clinch, um, uh, who runs a company called Storyful. And they're sort of doing curation around all this information that's coming out on these new platforms. And um, I think you need someone to try and do the fact checking, sort of, the, they're doing the job of a journalist really, um, and, um, and finding out what is the, the reliable, uh, truthful stuff that's coming out on those platforms. They're almost the, uh, the go between the, uh, the local on the ground report and the folks who are gonna take that information and use it as the basis or, or part of their stories. So you kind of need people that are, are doing the, the, the filtering. And I feel like uh, that's almost like a new, new um, role that's been created over like the last couple of years that there needs to be someone who goes through all that uh, information and, and kind of does all the fact checking around it. I don't think there's any other way than to be lucky enough or, or unlucky enough to be on the ground as these things break. Uh, than to get the report from a from a from a Twitter or uh, from you know from someone who's directly involved in it may not even be a journalist. In most cases, it's not. It's somebody that just happens to be in or around the area where something happened, and uh, and they're gonna you know they're gonna get on their phone and they're gonna they're gonna send out a message that's gonna if uh, if somebody's monitoring it properly, it's gonna pick it up and it's gonna kind of snowball from there.